amongst themselves with Jerusalem, God says they shall be cut in pieces. Now, I'm going to tell you the meaning behind that. Because Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Yes, so America has burdened themselves with having keeping us hostage here, but that's who we are. They're going to be cut in pieces. They took our land, the, our land of Jerusalem. The Bible says, you burden yourself with that, and you shall be cut in pieces. Think of all the times when they passed you over for the job. Think of all the times when you was done dirty by our enemies, man. That's the anger you got a chance. But think of your fathers if you never been to. All right? Think when they was whipping our fathers, man. Cutting our women's stomach open. Big white men beating little black women upside their head. Think of that. Some brothers' kids have died. Wife has left them. Uh, many things have happened to us, man. But in the kingdom of heaven, man, all that stuff is going to go away. We got to keep our mind on it. Keep the soldiers in mind that the mission. The mission is getting the kingdom of heaven. Ruling over these devils that oppress us. That's the mission. That's the goal. against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. God said He only knows you of all the families of the earth. He gave you law, statutes, and commandments, and you are not out there keeping them. You are breaking the Sabbath day, or women are dressed out of order, and this is what happens when y'all do this. Listen. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. God says he will punish us for all our iniquities. Our people are being punished all over the world because they continue to transgress God's law. Read it up. You only have I known all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. He said he will punish us for all our iniquities. Now give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Now give me verse 1, because we're going to go into what the brother was going into. Now y'all know y'all are children of Israel. What about you, brother? You know your nationality according to the Bible? Come over here and check this sign up. Now on the right side, they got what we was named in slavery. On the left side, they got our biblical names. Now what tribe is you from according to this sign? You from the tribe of Judah. What about you, sis? Judah, you took your oil from Judah. So do you know, I'm going to ask this brother, do you know who else is from the tribe of Judah? Give me that. African Americans, you are not an African American. You're an Israelite, brother. You better than that. That's right. Now we're gonna show you who else was from the tribe of Judah, from the same tribe as you. Listen to this, brother. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. For it is evident, the Bible say it is evident, it is evidence out here that what? That our Lord sprang, sprang out of Judah. It said our Lord sprung out of Judah. Who is our Lord? Did you know Jesus Christ was a black man? You didn't know that, did you? Now give me that. We don't show you out of the Bible the true image of Jesus Christ. Because if, you, if you knew that Jesus Christ was a black man, we wouldn't be shooting each other down in the street. That's right. That's right. We would be lifting each other up. We would be teaching our people these laws, statutes, and commandments. Right. We would do the work of Christ. We wouldn't be out here on the Sabbath day running the world hard. Right. Listen to this. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is the revelation of Jesus Christ. Does anybody know what revelation means? It means to reveal. This is the revealing of Jesus Christ. Read on. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants these which must shortly come to pass. So he gave his revelation to John the Revelator to show his servants. You as his servants, you as his services, these people on this side, the black Hispanics and Native Americans, you are God's servants. You are the Israelites, according to the Bible. Now listen to this. We don't read what Jesus Christ looked like. We won't see if do he look like this image, or do he look more like this image that we got up here. Now listen to this. Read. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So the Bible says Jesus Christ had hair that was white, in color and woolly in texture. What people on the earth have woolly hair? Is it the people walking around with the come to Jesus size? Or is it you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? That's right. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Jesus Christ had woolly hair just like you, brother. 
just like y'all, sister. But our people don't like to wear their hoodie here. They natural here. They want to wear the weaves, the wigs, the but we, and you have hair like God. You was a you was a adorn that thing. You was a love your hair. Now we don't get into the description more into his description. Read what you got. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Uh -huh. And his feet like it's a fine bread. He's saying his eyes was a flame of fire. Why was his eyes a flame of fire? Because he drank wine. That was his first miracle. He turned water into wine. And he said his feet like unto fine brass. Now I'm going to ask y'all, what color is brass? Is it white? Is this the brass color? Because this is what it's taught to us in Christianity. This is what it's taught to us in the Christian church. But this is not Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is a black man according to the Bible. Yes, Now what color is brass? What color is brass, brother? Black. It's brown. It's actually a brownish color. But we don't see how brown Jesus Christ was. Read it, read it, read it from uh like And his feet like it's a fine bread. As if it burned in the furnace. Man, he said Jesus Christ's feet was like fine brass as if it burned in the furnace. Now if you burn anything in the furnace, what color is it gonna come out? Black. It's gonna come out black. Jesus Christ was a black man according to the Bible. Black. He looked like you, he looked like you, he looked like you, sis. So what for so long have they been teaching us this was Jesus Christ? Who is this man? Give me that, give me that. Who is this man? Who? Cause that's who they say Jesus Christ is. But according to the Bible, Jesus Christ is a black man. That's right. But our people don't know that. That's why we get shot down in the street. That's why we killing each other. We kill each other more than anybody, any police officer. So we can't blame them. It's all our fault. Now listen, listen to this. We gonna see why he's portrayed like this instead of how he, the image of the Bible. Listen to this. Job 9, chapter 24, verse 24. The earth is given unto the hands of the wicked. It says the earth is given unto the hands of the wicked. Who is ruling this world, this world today? The white man is ruling this world. You are absolutely correct. Now we're going to read from the top. The earth is given unto the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. The white man has covered the faces of the judges. Jesus Christ is the judge. He's coming back to judge you. And as of now, y'all running around cooning on the Sabbath day is not going to be pretty for you when he come back. Now read on. If not, where and who is he? If it's not the white man, who is he? Who is it that's that fool in the world? Who is it that's running the world that the earth is given to? Now give me Isaiah chapter 90, no give me Psalms chapter 94 verse 16. Now read this, because this is, this is for you brother. Because you, you, you never heard this before, have you? They didn't teach you this in your Christian church. Well, I was brought up in the church 20 years and I didn't know who I was until now. I was lost. We, we, we all lost here. We, but we gotta come back to this Bible to find ourselves. The same Bible that they say is a white man book was it been a lie since we got here. Because the, the whole Bible says, first give me Job, oh dang, give me Job chapter 30. We don't, because they say this book is the white man's book. So we're going to find out, we're going to go into the book and find out what color the people is in the Bible. Because we already showed you Jesus Christ was a black man. Let's see about Job. Read, read what you got. Job, chapter 30, verse 30. My skin is black upon me. No, Job is a white man. My skin is black upon me. Job, the prophet said, his skin is black upon him. The people in this Bible is black. According to the Bible, but this is the message for the black man who are here on the Sabbath day. Now go back to uh, Psalms chapter 94. Read what you got. Psalms 94 verse 16. Who will rise up for me? The Most High God says, who will rise up for him? Y'all want to rise up for for uh, for uh basketball, for Kevin Durant, Independence day. for Independence Day. Y'all just celebrated the white man holiday. That's right. That's right. Which we were slaves on the first Independence Day. We were speaking cotton on independ the first Independence Day. That's right. It's not your Independence Day. But y'all just got up and celebrated his Independence Day. But read what God says. Read from the top. Who will rise up for me against the evildoer? God says who will rise up for him against the evildoers? Who's going to rise up and tell these women to put on some damn clothes? Right. Stop right. coming out here naked. Right. Who's going to rise up and tell the dope man to stop selling drugs in their neighborhood? Right. Who's going to do it? You got to be the one to do it, brother. Because the white man not going to come and help us. 
Yo, Big Swiss up. Right. He been breaking us down for 400 years. That's it's time right. for us to stand up for us. Right. We're in the game from the top. Psalms 94 verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evil doer? Or who will stand up for me against the work of iniquity? So who do you want to stand up for God? Because the Israelites, we coming out here to stand up for the Most High God. Right. We want to stand up for, for our God. Right. Because God right. in this Bible is not everybody's God. Right. If every, everybody is not equal. That's Stop right. letting them lie to you. If we equal, why is we not getting equal rights? Right. Why That's is we not getting right. equal treatment? Right. Give me Joel chapter 2. We're going to show you who who this Bible is for. Just real, real quick on what you just said. You said if we're equal, we all equal, equal, this is an integrated society, right? Stay right there, stay right there. This is an integrated society, right? That's what they told you? They told you we was integrated, right? If we're integrated, why are our people concentrated in the ghettos? Why are our great people concentrated in the areas where we have the worst health care, right. the worst education? Right. If we're integrated, it should be equal. Right. That means we would have equal rights, right? We wouldn't be getting shot down on the street, would we? No. So that means we are not in an integrated society. What we have been is assimilated. We have been taken over. Right. We are no longer us. Like, watch this real quick, and I'm not coming at you. But if you look at our women and you look around, they, not, they don't eat and wear their own natural hair anymore. They're wearing their hair to look like the people that oppress them. Right, they brought right. them over here on slave ships. Right. They're trying to become them. And that's, and that's not not just one person. That's a whole program of deconstruction of our mind to get us in this position. Right. Even the color. Like, we didn't color our hair. When you read the Bible, our hair, the righteous color of hair is black. Right. Like, but you will see, I, I was riding in the car today and I saw a woman in the car. She had a head full of blonde, stringy hair down her back. A, a black woman, a so-called black woman. That shows me that something is wrong that we need to fix in our minds. We got to get ourselves back under the law, statutes, and commandments of the most high. That's right. But that's all I wanted to bring out. Come on. Lord praise, Lord praises. Now we're gonna go into give me Leviticus chapter 26, verse start at 16. What's, it, what's happening in our community is going to continue to happen. Your sons and daughters is going to continue to get killed. Until you come back unto the Most High God. Until you come back to this Bible. 17, verse 17. Listen to this. This is what the Most High God has to say. Leviticus 26, verse 17. And I will set my face against you. The Most High God has set his face against you. Everybody in church saying, I love God. I love God, but God said he against you. You do not love him. Right. You are breaking his commandments. You hate his son. They crucified his son back then. Just like y'all doing now. They do just like y'all go up there and follow this image. When they say Jesus Christ is a black man. That's right. Now listen, read it from the top. And I will set my face against you. Ye shall be slain before your enemy. The Bible says ye shall be slain before who? Your enemy. Trayvon Martin was slain before who? Your enemy. Sandra Blay was slain before who? Your enemy. And it's going to continue to happen until you decide to come back to repentance. That's the most high right. God is calling you right, right now. Right, right from right. the top. Bring and I will right. set my face against you. And ye shall be slain before your enemies. They that hate you shall reign over you. The Bible says they that hate you shall reign over you. What do y'all think happened to the Ku Klux Klan? Y'all think they just said, they just took off the hoods and decided we ain't gonna do this no more? No, they are now your lawyers, right. your judges. Right. They on, rule man. over you. They that hate you rule over you. Yeah, right. They're asking for justice, but y'all not gonna get it until y'all come back to this Bible. Right. Until y'all come back to the Most High God. Give me Psalms, give, no, give me Proverbs chapter 1 and 20. Until y'all come back to the Most High God, because we come out here every week. And a lot of people like to come against the Bible. They say, y'all preaching hate. Y'all preaching this. Y'all preaching that. Well, did they say that when they was hanging us from trees? Nope. Did they say that when they was raping our women? Nope. When they was feeding our babies to alligators? Nope. Did they say that? No. When they told us white Jesus, when you a black man? Listen to this. Read, read what you got. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 28. Wisdom crieth without. She uttered her voice in the street. The Bible says wisdom utters her voice in the streets. Wisdom did not hide in the church on Sunday morning. Right. It utters her voice in the streets. That's wisdom that's is uttering to you people right now. A lot of y'all still want to cool and dance with y'all oppressors. And right. now y'all want to listen to the Bible. But wisdom is crying to y'all right now, whether y'all know it or not. Read it 
from the top. Where's some pride for no? The Bible says, how long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? How long y'all gonna love to come out here and come and dance? Our people die all over the world, but y'all decide to come out here and dance. Then dance, man. Dance for the same white man who oppressed you for 400 years. No longer will we come and dance. We don't do what this Bible says. We're not gonna follow man. We followed the white man for too long. And it has got us nowhere. Give me John, 1 John chapter 2, and we're going to see if this man who said, got a sign who says, come to Jesus, right. we're going to see if he's of God or not. Right. We're going to find out if the white man is of God, or is if you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, God chosen people. Read what you got. Read what you got. We're going to find, find that 1 John 2 and start at 3. We're going to find out how you know you know God. Because our pastors tell us they, they know God, right? But our pastor's not telling us. You never learned this, right? right? Our pastor's not telling us what we need to do. Start at verse 3. This is the book of John, chapter 1, verse... John. Chapter 2, 1 John, chapter 2, verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him if we can. First off, the Bible says, this is how you know God. So if all y'all run around saying, I'm washed in the blood of Jesus, listen, this is how you know God. This is the only way you know God. And hereby, we do know that we know him if we keep his commandment. No, if I go to church on Sunday morning. If we keep his commandment. No, if I give him a preacher 10% of my check. If we keep his commandment. The only way you know God is if you keep his commandment. That's right. That's right. The Bible says we must keep his commandments. So read on what you got. He that saith, I know him. Like the man who just walked around with the come to Jesus sign. He said he know God. He keepeth not his commandment. But he don't keep the commandments. Read on. Is a liar. What is your Christian pastor? Is a liar. These yes, people have been lying to you for 400 years. Yes, and now the prophets of God is out here to bring you back to repentance. Right. Listen, we gotta turn away from our sin and come back to God. Right. That's the only way we're gonna 
gonna come out of this captivity. Y'all don't even realize y'all are slaves. Y'all was born here in 1619, y'all never went home. Never went home. Y'all still a burden of the same white man who oppressed y'all for 400 years. And y'all asking him for justice. He's not gonna give you no justice. Read what you got. We gotta find out what sin is. Read. This is 1 John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. So sin is the breaking of God's laws. It is the law that women is not supposed to wear pants. Did y'all women know that? That y'all supposed to have dresses on. That y'all supposed to be covered up. That we're not supposed to see y'all bodies. We're not supposed to see y'all breasts. Y'all buttocks. We're not supposed to see those things. Those are for your husband. And the law that used to keep the Sabbath day holy. This is our sin. This is what is plaguing our communities. Right. This is why our people are strung out our jobs. We on section eight in the worst homes. We get the worst jobs. Y'all never thought why? Why? Read really again. Whosoever commits sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the breaking of God's laws. Like this man out here who is preaching Jesus, but he has no fringes on. He is in the midst of sin, trying to teach you about God with no Bible. For too long we've been lied to here in America. But now the prophets of God is out here to show you where to get it right. Now give me, give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. If you don't hate us, give us our land back. Give us our land back. Give that land back to the Native Americans. Give Israel back to where it belongs to. If you don't hate us. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to exalt, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I commanded thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Which I don't realize. Step back, brother. Hold on. Step back. Hold on, hold on. But hold on, hold on, because cause he felt like he could just approach us like that. Why? Because he look at us just like we some niggas. That's what we think, we some niggas with some Bibles. So he felt like, he, I'm going to come over here and stop this. But no, you're not going to stop the word of God. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass, meaning this is going to happen. In the future, this is going to happen. Read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If y'all who walking up these streets do not want to listen to God, y'all want to do your own thing, y'all want to smoke weed, get high, get drunk, break the Sabbath day, keep coming out here dressed like hoes. If y'all want to keep doing that, read. To observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes which I commanded thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. It say all these curses is going to come upon you. You are not blessed. Right? 
and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. So he said, the Lord formed man out of the dust of the ground. What color is the dust of the ground? It's brown. So the first man, Adam, was a black man. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.